Hello, my name is Sophia and I'm a graphic designer and today I want to ask you a question. Have you ever spent $100 on 10 books? Well, probably you did. What about 3 books? Well, perhaps 2 books? 1 book? I did it all and today I want to speak about my book obsession and show you my recent purchase. Recently, I went to my favorite bookstore in New York, it's called Kinakunya. It's located uh, near Bryant Park in New York City and it's my favorite bookstore because they have books that I have not seen before like in other larger bookstores and they're usually not on Amazon either. So they care a really good selection of graphic design books about a Poigraphy, illustration, layouts. It's like really rare and great books. But the prices of each book starts from $40, which is really expensive. Um, and I usually do not buy two books for $100, but this time I did because I just couldn't leave the store with those two books. And so I want to show what I've got. So the first book is called Nanzi Kanji Nanja and it looks like this and this is book about graphic design in China, Korea and Japan and as you can see the cover is a bit bitten and ripped so I got a little discount on it but it's not really large but anyway when I sold this book I just couldn't leave the store because there's not a lot of graphic design books in United States or in the Western about Asian graphic design and that's what I'm leaning towards right now because I'm enjoying it so much. So every book that I can find about Asian graphic design, I just want it. I have several and this is so far my favorite. I will show you close up, but like, oh my God, guys, this book, I love it. And the second book is a recent publication and it's called Layout Now. And I haven't even opened yet, it's just like completely new, but they had an open, op uh, open copy in the bookstore and I just went through it and I was like, wow, this is an amazing book about layout design and I think I will love this book more than my other layout books. And it costs like $50 or so, but the binding is really interesting and I love bindings and it's something that I think all graphic designers can appreciate and so I wanted to show you these books and show you what's inside and give my short review because I have not read them I just got them but maybe you will be interested in that and so the first book that I want to show you is Nanzi Kanja Nanja and it's about contemporary Chinese characters in graphic design and logo design. So <clears throat> let's see the cover. So you can see there's like more than 100 winning works from Japan, Korea, Taiwan, China, Hong Kong. And so it compares the capacity of some of today's finest contemporary Chinese types. So you will not see here maybe Korean or Japanese language, but you will see a lot of Chinese language and that's what like I have an interest right now, especially because I have a lot of friends from China. So let's let, look at this book because it is really fantastic. And I think it's fantastic for me because I do not, I cannot read Chinese, even though I'm really interested in learning it. Right now, I when I look at the work, I see shapes and forms not um i don't see the meaning behind it unless i read the caption so for me looking at something that i do not understand uh, shows me something different i feel the shape i feel the weights i look at it as a form of art when there's nothing like just the strokes and the weights and i think it's beautiful to expose yourself for something that you do not understand and but you still can appreciate the forms and like the creativity and the expression and that's what i really love about asian graphic design it's so unique and it's so different from what we are exposed on everyday life here so here we can see examples of logos and calligraphy i guess and isn't it beautiful guys like look at this it's it's just like amazing i can't look staring at it it's so beautiful 
and as you can see in the bottom of the book there are captions about who did it and what it's for and it's beautiful it's beautiful works and it's so different from what people in the west do especially like maybe this is like you can see but if you look at the japanese magazines especially like i can't read them they're so different with layouts so here is, you can see Hanzin design and it's a, there are a lot of poster and branding and it is so beautiful i was staring at the some of the posters and i was thinking wow this is so elegant it's so minimal and I just love it. It's gorgeous. I'm sure a lot of those works are available online and you can find them. But I just love to have books that I can just take from my bookshelf and just look and get ideas and maybe some interesting solutions. So as you can see, there are a lot of variation of work. And I think this is my favorite pages because look at these posters. Isn't it beautiful? It's it's just so expressive and we don't see that a lot in western because first of all we do not have such characters to play around but isn't it beautiful and then you go to this minimal actually i did posters in this technique and i won several competitions it was a huge poster uh for competition of graphic design so this technique is really popular i'm <laughs> looking at it right now and it becomes popular so the book is amazing. I highly advise you if you're Asian student and you're interested and you're studying, for example, in the United States, because you can appreciate what your country and culture produces. Because this works, guys. It's so amazing. I'm, I'm just. Oof. It's just there's a reason why I couldn't leave the bookstore. It's so beautiful, and so many works and colors and. Uh, I just love it. I think it's my f it's my favorite book that I own right now. One of one of favorites, but isn't it beautiful? So, if you're interested in Asian graphic design or Chinese characters, or you're learning Chinese, which is interesting, I would really advise this book. It's beautiful, and you see my cover is completely ripped. But if the book is without the, this cover, it looks like this which is also really nice like it's not as colorful but it's pretty so here is book number one and the second book is layout now and it's the arrangement of text and graphics so let's open it Uh, so the book is pretty large, so I'm sorry if you can't see the whole book, uh, that's the furthest I can go. Uh, the material is so nice, it's really, wow, beautiful. So you can see that the book is separated by sections and parts, and each part is showing... Um, here is the first part is about typography actually and sizes of the letter uh, of the paper and I think it's a really nice if you're working as an international designer and you need to know what sizes are and also overview of the typography I think it's pretty nice addition if you forgot something maybe um, the second part is about construction of the page and page elements so this is like an overview and you can see good and bad examples and how what is flush left flush right so is this is like a basic terminology that every graphic designer should know and you can see the construction of pages the golden ratio and how you can lay out the page and then some examples i think it's pretty nice if you are not familiar and it's your first book about uh, layout. I think it's a great overview to put it before. So this is the anatomy of grid. So how you build the grid and how you should use the grid. And you can see the how the page is structured. I like it. It's really nice. Like, And so this is the first page of the book itself. And the cover is really thick. Oops, I need to the book starts and the book is 
what I liked about the book and why I bought it is because first of all I really loved the examples they gave I have not seen all of this work but the main reason why I bought it is that each example is shown with the greed and I hope you can see it let me do this you can see that they put the grid on top to show you how the poster or magazine or page was created and not a lot of book carry that and also it has a diagram how it was composed so if you want to recreate the poster you can just look at the diagram and create your own unique work and i think it is great like it is amazing job they created they also included some captions on other pages on these pages you do not have captions but i bought it because i just wanted the book like this that shows me different grids layouts and see how the pages can be constructed because sometimes i have had a problem with grids and so as you can see in some pages they have captions and you can read it and it is great and I was looking at this book and I was thinking this is maybe one of the best book about layouts just because it has so many examples and themes and if you do not like to read about technicality of grids or math um, this is this can be the book that you would lean on more than any other and the examples that provided as I told are amazing so um, it definitely worth $50 especially for the binding they did and just like in general the feel of the book and how it is composed I think it is wonderful um, and I'm so happy that they published the book uh, let's I know that $100 for two books can be a lot but we all have different hobbies and for me my hobby is to have an amazing library with a lot of special books I have so many books that are really rare so if you're interested to someday to look at them please let me know and thank you for watching this video and see you next time